So hello, welcome back to Dubai. I've generally lost count of what day it is. Such is the relentless energy of this remarkable city. I think we've crammed in more in the last couple of weeks than I have in the last couple of months. It's been phenomenal. We've been on yachts, we've been on track days, we've been in supercars, we're in the desert. If you haven't been following the journey, uh, head back to about, I don't know, 10 days ago and you, you'll see a decent lineup of uh, Dubai content. But tonight, a bit of a change of pace. Uh, I was initially in invited privately to a uh, VIP screening of a new watch at Dubai Watch Week but I thought you know what what if we can wangle ourselves a media pass and bring you along for the ride because I've had the luck and fortune of being invited to some pretty serious watch launches over the years never really filmed it but one of the things which encouraged me to try and get a media pass is the amount of Patex, Richard Mille's um, APs just Rolexes that hanging around just in Starbucks like the watch culture here is off the chart So I thought if there was anywhere that we were gonna be able to share some mega blaster watches It was gonna be at Dubai watch week. So that's where we're heading now as a result I am wearing the 44 millimeter rose gold on ceramic Audemars Piquet with the hope that that's, that's gonna uh, get me in to some chats on the AP stand assuming AP are here but I would also like to stop by speak to RM to Patek uh, Roger de Wee, check out what's going on the innovations the new watches and importantly what a watch week is like in Dubai okay it would appear that they go big on the watch week there's all the valet parking and everything out here I think we're also going to see some cool cars as well as some cool watches someone's put number plates on a 488 challenge evo <laughs> there it is that car has number plates on it <laughs> all right we're here look at it yours g-wagon cullinan dawn right. yeah it is so we are heading to awir tomorrow okay we'll have a lunch yeah don't go heavily don't go too heavy, go light, please. <laughs> go too heavy. then uh, yeah. columns from awir yeah to Bidayar. And this the is a place, long journey. The place where we met. Yeah. Oh, first time. Yes. Okay. And this is like a 45 minute through the desert yes. journey. Yes. So, Yorkie, stay in the passenger seat. <laughs> For sure. Is that no way? Is to that die. when you say halas? Halas. Halas. Never. <laughs> Never and ever. <laughs> You are a passenger, not a driver. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay, so that was Boumaid who arranged the uh, first desert trip. If you haven't seen that, link below, because Yorkie goes and stacks the buggy. Priceless watching. Uh, anyway, that's tomorrow's activity sorted. Uh, but right now, we've just rocked up at Dubai Watch Week. So let's take a look around and immerse you in what's new, what's cool, what's outlandish. I'm sure, judging by the backdrop, it's going to be a really special event. I really love how their pop-up catering is a Cipriani. <laughs> you know, it ain't, it ain't no Starbucks. It's like, let's pop up our Cipriani. That'll be good. All right, real quick one on this safe. So you can have access to your own safe, sure, but if you want to be extra careful, uh, the manufacturer is able to program in a master trigger that only opens your safe remotely between time frames that you want. So say you only want access to your watch cave uh, Monday at 1 until 3, they can remotely program that for you. The rest of the time, lockdown. This piece is basically, it was inspired by the car itself. Okay. I mean, just before you continue, yeah. I've seen photos of this, I've yeah. seen videos of it, yeah. and it's always blown my mind that you managed to make the pistons actually articulate, exactly. like they actually work. I will tell you something else. Come on. When you hear the cylinders of the Bugatti engine, yes. it will give the sound, same sound over here. <laughs> what do you mean? You mean you can... You can hear it. It's not the engine it. itself, no, sure. but no. cylinders, the pistons, oh, yes. You can hear them. Yeah. Let's go over here. Let's out activate. <gasps> He's not kidding. I'm telling you. You can hear them. <laughs> Incredible movement over here. Okay. The first crown, it's adjusting the time, all right? Uh -huh. You can't set the time. Second one, I will not talk about the second one. Okay, the third one, it will start that <gasps> cylinders that's okay. mad so now 
We're gonna talk about the. Let it really be done. We're gonna talk about the middle crown. Okay. So, the, you know, the clockwise, uh -huh. you wind the watch, right? Yes. You wind the movement. Anti clock, counterclockwise, it winds the cylinder. So, it means that we got two power reserves there. Each one, each movement. So, let's see. You can. Wind it all there, and you can counterbalance it. Also. Wow! Yeah, mind blowing. Let's get it done. We gotta get a macro shot of this engine. Check it out. I can't believe I'm saying there's an engine on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> no, the car is in your wrist. Just we have to put the wheels over there. You're That's right. It. You're right. It's gonna drive the whole. So this one is what, around five million AED. Yes. One point three US. US dollars. Yeah. Inclusive of tax. Yeah. So there you go, if you were wondering. All right, so most of the audience of this channel will be familiar with Singer in terms of reimagined Porsche 911s, but not everyone might be familiar with them making their own watches. And the last time I saw these was Geneva a few years yeah. back, and it's awesome to be here and see how it's how this suite of watches has, has uh, grown, starting with this thing. This looks beautiful. Using it as a oh, one-minute cool. chronograph. Nice. Ten pieces of each. Number. Oh, it's light. It's very nice. It's huh? a titanium, titanium, and you have the, a gold, 18 karat gold digit, that is the case number. Oh, very cool. So from one to ten. Wow. So each watch is, technically speaking, unique. Are they sold out? Uh, they, we still have few of them. Few left. But uh, yeah, I really like it. It's a, you guys a vintage style. Yeah. Vintage look. The strap's cool, huh? It's nice. Look at that. That's really fresh. Have you guys done anything uh, specific to the uh, lightweight program, the yeah, we, DLS? We launched a DLS watch program uh -huh. for the owners of the Very cars. Good. Nice. So okay. once they, they lock the, the car specs, yeah. we, we designed together the watch to match the specs of the car. What a journey that must be, huh? Yeah, you know? that's amazing. <laughs> it's a, what a thing. painful journey. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. Yeah. It is great to, to, to be able to match the uh, car, but course. you cannot do everything you want. Sure. So on a wash base, you, you still are restricted. Yeah. So you need to find ways to, to match it, mm -hmm. sometimes in a subtle yes, way. Yes, of course. But uh, to give it the personality that the owner wants to, to carry it's with amazing. It. Going from this to this, yeah. so this <laughs> I almost, with it being titanium, you can barely feel it on your wrist. It's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Is it I love that sort grams. of retro feel to it as well. huh? Yeah. That's, uh, Stunning. So that then resets it as a 60 second. Yeah. If you keep it's the nice push trip. button down, uh -huh. it stay there. Uh -huh. So you can cool. release it so when you, you release want it. Release it when you want it. So we, we introduced like three different scales uh -huh. on, on the diodes. You have the, the pulsometer scale yeah. that uh, measure heartbeat, uh -huh. average okay. heartbeat on, yeah, the, on yeah. uh, one minute. You have the telemetric scale that measure a distance okay. between you uh -huh. and, uh, for example, a storm. So when okay. you when you see the lightning, okay. yeah. you you launch the the chronos, see, so and where you hear the thunder, you, you read the, the information, <laughs> and you know you are uh, I don't know two, three, five kilometer away from the storm. I really like the rivet in the strap which is like yeah. a nod to the seats yeah, right exactly but look at this a small touch here we are look at this when you open this these hinges here are signature singer style boot hinges so when you open up the engine bay on a singer you'll see these exactly like this left and right and you see the the diamond the diamond stitching leather yeah. in there and so fabulous. we really wanted to recreate yeah. the, the universe. Yeah, it's super if cool. you know Singer again, exactly. you yeah, know yeah. what it is. If you don't know, doesn't yeah. mind. It just looks nice. It's, yeah. <laughs> but. And when you have to set the time, you, you pull the crown and you spin oh, the disc. How cool is this? <laughs> on, on the, on the <laughs> periphery of the yeah, dial. So, nice. so you read the, the time here at 6. Mm -hmm. When you look at the movement, it looks like an end wound movement but it's actually uh, automatic. So we engineered it in a way to put the oscillating weight on the other side. I love so you've got this like Fuchs Fuch style uh, And the Fuchs weight wheel is the, the wheel that makes the, the minute and hour this spinning. Beautiful thing, huh? Every, every detail has been studied and development to, yeah. you know, to, to create some uh, kind of emotion. 
So yeah. even though it's not visible, sure. it's inside, like on the car. Yeah. You, I mean, if you look at a single car restoration, you see that, I mean, it's something amazing, but if you don't, don't know what is exactly, uh -huh. you just can pass sure. by. Yes. But when but you, you, know, know, you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the same thing we wanted to achieve with watches. I'm still trying to find AP. It's got, it's got to be here. It's got to be here somewhere. I was quite. Uh, I'm still getting over those uh, that 16-cylinder engine inside <laughs> that Jacob and Co watch actually activated. So cool. something about AP for me I know everyone's got their favorite brand for me uh, it's one of my favorites for two reasons one it was the first proper watch that I bought myself it took me until I was age 30 to get my first proper watch which was the 42 mil just black stainless and that watch it just so happened that the one of the um, PR directors of AP at that time was a subscriber to the channel and he saw me wearing it and he invited me on a trip to Hong Kong with this watch. I'll put a link in the description below to the video. But ultimately that watch led me to going to Hong Kong. It's the first time I'd ever been. Um, I ended up proposing to my now wife while I was there and also I made some great friends over there. So it's amazing how that watch literally changed my life. So that for me is why AP is one of my favorite watch brands. All right, I like that. It was nice because they like threw in some history of the brand. Hospitality was cool. Nice uh, food, nice drinks. At this point, we're going to call it a night, but uh, it's the first time that we've done any sort of watch content really on the channel. And I'd be really interested from your point of view. Do you want to see some more? What kind of watch content would you like to see? And you know what? Going back to when I went to Hong Kong, back when I bought my first proper AP. It doesn't have to be all about the watches, it's the journey that these things take you on, a lot like cars. So let me know in the comments below. The music's starting to ramp up. There's no point in filming anymore. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll just see you next time. Ciao.